Yeah. Bad little flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby. Let them hoes sleep. Body on ten, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. From this world Running on a hamster wheel But searching for something I can't feel I just wanna be a lost girl And fly Take a breath, feel my wings spread Navitate above the ground And make eye contact with clouds Now I'm right But I just want to hop on camera real quick just in case I didn't say hello for this whole trip. I'm on a family trip in Florida. We're in Davenport, which is like really close to Orlando. Um, so we are having like a little family. You can see you got kids running around. It's a whole thing. Got family from Florida, Georgia, Chicago, everywhere to celebrate my aunt's 60th birthday. And also my cousin graduated college. She graduated from Emory University, which is in Georgia. And it's also my other um, little cousin's birthday tomorrow as well. So we have a lot of celebrations and a lot of stuff to be excited about. So I just wanna hop on camera real quick. We're doing an all white night. So this is what I have on. Just something really simple. Just have on these white, like flowy pants and then this white um tank top with like really skinny straps so yeah that's kind of the vibe just wanted to do like something real family appropriate this these pants actually come with a different top it's like a crop um top but it only covers the boob area so that's like more tropical vacation vacation friendcation anything besides family <laughs> so yeah i decided to put on this like just white tank it's really hot here, it is raining, um, but we're gonna have some really good food. And I don't know like how much I'm gonna be talking um, during this trip, so I'm probably gonna extend this vlog longer than this trip. But just wanted to hop on here, say hey to my beautiful friends and family on the internet, um, and show you guys what we're doing tonight. We're gonna have a lituation. My friend already made a drink. One of my cousins is a bar, or used to be a bartender, so she makes fire drinks. And I already finished this one, um, so I need to ask her to make me another one because she was popping, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what we get into tonight. I'll probably do, like, a little montage, nothing too crazy about everything that we are doing. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun vibes. So, yeah, stay tuned. Catch on a little bit. I've been my phone. I got and I don't want to tell you to drop it. But I don't wanna play your fair, yeah, yeah Something that makes me look at you too often Baby, you can give me something Baby, I can run all the time I, Baby, I'm talking crazy I need you right in my space, but I
start eating. Um, I would like to just kind of to, to give thanks amen. first of all yes, to all of y'all. That's awesome. Yeah. Jalen, it's not your speech. It's not your speech. That's not first and foremost. It's him. Oh, amen. I give I give honor first and foremost to my Lord and Savior. Amen. To my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If it wasn't for him, this day would not have happened. So I give thanks to him. I thank and praise God that my Aunt Jessie is here. Amen. This is a special day for me. Um, anytime you reach 60, it's a milestone. And I am just so thankful and so great, you know, I just, just so thankful that I could be here with all of you all to celebrate this day. Um, although my birthday is yet this tomorrow, but I'm just glad that we're able to come together today and just kind of celebrate it and be together and just have fun and eat and just enjoy each other. So, eat up, have fun, let's dance, let's party, let's drink, let's just have a good time. Okay. later I don't even remember the last time I picked up my camera my hair is out I took my hair out last night because I was just over the braids and the wig like I was over it so the next style I'm gonna get is just a ponytail braid I don't know why I'm talking to you guys about this right now but it is the ponytail braid this style my friend is coming in town this weekend so I'm gonna have her do it for me she does hair so just real simple and cute just 
Yeah, and she got this back tattoo, and I think I'm going to get that as well. So I just want this whole look. Like, this look is a vibe. We're going to Ephemeral on Friday or Saturday to get a temp tattoo. Um, it's this place in Atlanta that does, like, real tattoos, but they, like, only last like nine to 12 months so they fade over time so if you don't want to commit but you still want the look of a tattoo for now while you're young and cute then you can go there and get them um so i think they're called i think they're called ephemeral tattoos so we're gonna go ahead and get one this weekend i'm super excited because i've been wanting a tat for a long time but i just didn't want to commit to like something forever and i don't want to get anything removed from my body so this should be a good option um, but the reason why I did want to come on here is because I wanted to let you guys know that I do plan on going back to school and I'm actually so excited about it. Um, it's not for a full master's degree, but it is for a certification. Um, I would want to get a master's, but that's just so tedious and so expensive and I don't want to go into like a super crazy amount of debt. Um, the program that I'm going to be doing is in digital marketing and I'm so excited because you guys know I already do marketing on a daily basis basically on this YouTube channel and I've always wanted to go into it professionally but obviously my degree is in business management and though it is vague it's hard to get into a marketing type of field with just like a vague business degree and not one solely focused in marketing so if I did get one in undergrad that was focused on marketing, I would literally already be in that field. So I'm using this, it's called a boot camp. Um, I'm using it as a stepping stone to get me towards a career that I will actually enjoy. Um, I do love my job still. Well, I don't love it. Let's be honest, I don't love my job, but I do. I am still okay with it and I do still like being in the technology field so I still might be in the technology field but just in a different career path than in payroll. Um, as you guys know I am an implementation consultant and that is basically a payroll consultant so I'm in their payroll department and we set up the payroll systems for our clients um, as they come into our company so that's kind of what I do right now but I want to switch over to marketing eventually so the program that i am going to be doing is at georgia tech it is a boot camp and obviously i haven't actually applied yet but she just gave me the intro call and i'm so excited so i just had to hop on here obviously i do have to apply and i do have to pass the assessment um, but there's no application fee or anything, so all that is free, but the program is not free. Obviously, I am going to have to like get some, a little bit of financial aid. It is around like $8,000 or something, um, so I'm going to see if I can get some scholarships. But I'll have to move pretty quickly because the program starts literally in a month. It starts in September, and it is about four and a half months. So I don't really want to wait till like the February class um, to get started. Um, I would want to start um, now because I don't know when the next class is going to be. Um, and I don't want to be in my current field forever. Like it is a good stepping stone. Like I'm glad it got me into the tech into the tech industry. In case I do want to stay in the tech industry, just in a different department. Um, but the job itself, I don't want to be doing forever. Um, so yeah, this program will allow me to go three times a week, part time in the evening. So I'll still be able to work and everything. Um, it's just going to be a little bit hard, um, to deal with everything, including YouTube, but I'm so excited because it gives me something to talk about and something to actually get excited and hype about. Um, and you guys know, I haven't been like this excited to do something in a while, so um, I've been in a little depressive episode if you've seen like my last couple of videos, but I am feeling much better. I'm feeling motivated and I'm feeling like I can do this and it's something that I feel it will be rewarding to me in the long run because I'll be in a career that I actually enjoy because, um, you know, I am technically still doing marketing currently as I promote products and stuff on this YouTube channel and work with brands and everything that is online marketing and digital marketing but I just want to be all like on the corporate side on the back end um, of that type of job so I think that's what I would like to do um, but they have a bunch, a bunch of different industries that all do um, some sort of digital marketing so it will be I think it'll be a fun career to get into and it's a big thing right now just look it up uh, look it up on TikTok I watch a bunch of TikToks um of people in that industry and I just feel like I would really enjoy it so 
yeah, we're still in the mid-20s. I'm turning 26 soon. I really just want to get my life together and be in something that I actually enjoy doing and will want to do for a long time instead of like bouncing around job to job looking in different industries and what I like and what I don't like. Like I just want to get into something that I feel that I would enjoy and I already enjoy doing this on a regular basis on my own. So I feel like I would get um, it would be a good return on my investment if I did invest into it. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. That was kind of very long and rambly. Um, we do need to go over my July budget, which I did do it already. <laughs> and I don't know how things are looking. So we'll definitely like go over that in a little bit. But right now I'm just going to like do some work. I am working right now. So I'm just looking at my schedule let's see what we got for the rest of the day okay so this morning as you guys can see we just had a group team meeting here i just had a meeting here for my intro call for this company um for one of my clients or one of my new clients we just did the intro call for them so i just explained to them basically how the implementation process works and how we're going to get their software into um, our system. So that's kind of what we talked about on that call. I'm supposed to be at lunch right now. So this is my lunch break. Um, but oh, I haven't taken it yet. So I'm going to go a little over. Um, then I have this free time so I can get the employees into the system for this company. Um, before we have our weekly touch point call, I really want to get that done. And then I have an hour to like get my thoughts and everything together, get my notes and everything together before my AR. Um, and this is just an account review with my team lead. So we have this meeting every Tuesday just to go over how my accounts are looking and what we need to be doing for the rest of the week. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we have. I don't have that many meetings this week. Um, my last heavy meeting day was last week. It was this, like you see all these meetings, all the purple tabs I organize them by color are client meeting so Wednesday was he heavy 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 but this week is light because of that so yeah we do have heavy days and not so heavy days so today I'm doing like back-end work and just a couple meetings um so yeah so yeah that's kind of where I'm at but we're going to get back into whatever else we have planned I'm just gonna look through my footage because I know I haven't posted anything and then I will see where we're at and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later, but now I'm just going to take my lunch. Though it's hard.